the, uh, are we actually starting on Town and City? Three, no, we're starting City. Yes, dude. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, it's not a bad stage. It's just, it's not good for a lot more characters than you would think it is. Though it is extremely good for Palutena, which is why I assume Red Team is very, very willing to go here. As we are seeing the cloud from Booty, uh, not trying to deal with the uh, the amount of pressure and the amount of air game that Palutena can go for. As man, Ray almost making a huge turn instantly with that downer. You know, we're seeing so much dynamic here. I think here we see sort of Ray as I would say like the offense, and Milkshake mm -hmm. sort of playing the defensive role here, same way as Karkson and Booty were doing in the previous game. Yeah, got a lot of spells to back up with. I love very couple really big whiff, whiff punishes from Milkshake in order to find their way back to center like this, and the patience as well, almost finding a punish on that aerial sweep. Karkson unable to close out the edge guard though, and now Red Team is in position, uh, forfeiting position. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and Robin at the Legend single is already a scary ledge trapping option, let alone with a Palu behind you to back you up. Yeah, I just didn't like the L wind that uh, that Milkshake ended up going for. It was very, very risky, and it kind of surrendered. It, it basically put this entire situation into a a, a, a scramble off stage. Oh, an unfortunate up smash from Booty catching Karkzim instead of uh, Ray. Yeah, the mages end up dropping, and we're just left with a climb hazard and an L, uh, L thunder. Not closing out the stock on Booty yet, still surviving it, and that, okay, finally landing a back air in mid screen. Utopian Ray, the last one with a third stock. Oh, I, you wow, know, great I should just. From Booty. <laughs> <laughs> the commentator's curse is still thriving, everyone. It is seemingly somewhat random smash attacks are doing a great job. Booty just really calling out the drop shield there from Utopian Ray. Yeah, and I like that a really uh, hard approach from Karksim to kind of take over uh, Booty getting hit by an arc fire. Like, I'm gonna consume uh, from. Yeah, I said that right. Ooh. There's a great save there by Ray to sort of dash attack Booty's uh, cross slash, but still managing to get a back off of that and deleting one of Milkshake's stops. Alright, still trying to threaten Ledge here. Great pickup on the part of Red Team. A Able to spin. catch. Wow. Did, uh, it looked like Ray got footstooled there. That's so huge to turn the stock count back into Blue Team's favor after such a solid job of shutting down this game, uh, at closing down this game into an even position. Sort of a magic match going on here. Yeah, they're chucking, chucking some spells and some uh, Art of Reticles back and forth. But Booty, like, Kyle can be such a hard character to hit thanks to the, his insane speed and massive sword. Ray kind of on the on the receiving end of that as Red Team is unable to stop the bleeding until right there, finding a forward smash on Booty. That being said, the percentages aren't looking great for the Red Team, but this is still doable, of course. Oh, so unfortunate. They had uh, they had a, the position they wanted to be in, and instead, with a lack of arc fire, Milkshay went to support Utopian Ray and ends up taking their stock instead. And Robin, not the fastest character yet that's going to do it. And up there from Karkson. And a finishing touch on the partner right at the end. <laughs> yeah, you saw the up air. You saw the the really good sense of um, of coverage coming out from Karkson at the end there. As we see that final stock and get a look, get a peek, sees. JK. But the being able to combo off of your opponent's reversals is super huge in a doubles-like format, especially given how Cloud's climb hazard is so good and so... Uh, all-encompassing so just knowing that knowing the variation on di windows means that you're able to try and just like hey you're trying to establish control you're trying to establish pressure no you're not and you're dead for it like that's just such an important like one to like see your opponent in trouble and follow up off of their reversal off of their hits and two really big swords on the part of blue team is going to keep that under their control the Square Enix boys taking it <laughs> over to Small Battlefield. Power of friendship here, trying to <laughs> win true. over. Uh, you know, Cloud, Cloud doesn't have many friends, but the ones he makes are very important. <laughs> 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 We're going here to a smaller stage, and this is a great yeah. choice given that Paolo's speed is going to become a huge factor here. I think it really important in this game is going to be uh, how well Milkshi is able to manage their spells, because it feels like they... They burn through a lot of arc fires very, very quickly and aren't able to have them when it's, when they are very much needed. Thunder, using Thunder a lot makes a lot of sense in doubles, but 
arc fire is something that it feels like you're not going to always have access to. Uh, isn't always going to be correct, excuse me. Well, great arc under there, but catching both uh, Ray and Karkson. Ooh, double, uh, stock trade, one on a counter and one on a back air. Red teams, ma uh, both teams' mages are falling by the wayside. Yeah, when the Lemon Sword is active too from Milkje, it's amazing how much space that covers up as well. But again, Robin with these limited resources, there's only so much you can do. Oh, it only gets the lingering hit of neutral air instead. Completing the cross slash though, and it will get you only 11 Nair for it. That, that button is so insanely huge. I love that pressure from Milkje. Uh, knowing that jab one from Robin hits the battlefield platform, establish that pressure on, and then go with the up smash as the timing mix up. Super clean. Yeah, with a long lasting hitbox of 11 up smash, especially, that's extremely powerful. For sure, for sure, Jay. Ooh, very, very spooky there. I like the attempt at a follow up from Booty. Again, a lead matters so much in doubles, being able to just know that you can take a, take a load off and control center. But, oh, Milkshake with, again, that huge smash attack and that 11 forward smash takes no prisoners. I feel like Milkshake this game is doing a great job sort of uh, keeping a lot of the 11 sword ready for any of the up smashes or up, or up smashes that, she needs, that they need. Yeah. I kind of slept on buff that Robin uh, previously received when they at their only round of buffs as uh, Booty drops to another edge guard. Is uh, if you do smash input for aerials, just like by doing left and A at the same time while you're in the air, Eleven Sword recharges faster. Yeah. So it just being able to manage that, manage your meters like that, and speed up your timings is uh, equally as important. Oh, it, in order to gain the just Eleven Sword is so much better than Bronze Sword. I mean, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a 2v1 here, uh, Booty taking on the entire red team. Yeah, got a lot of lot to go through, but Cloud can just play this corner game and play out of the corner extremely well, but uh, oof. <laughs> it's a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of wanted like a, a double jump there from, from Ray there, but you got the back throw. You got the match out from Booty. Very nice. Like Booty's playing a little bit like a zone and just trying to, limit, trying to use limit as a tool to break in some more damage. Yeah, Booty needs to try and like find a place in stage where he can turn like just even the minuscule bit of spacing, in, uh, the minuscule bit of stage control that they have into what feels like a lot. And they're doing so okay here, trying to surround themselves with a platform, just any bit of defense. Yeah, I love these moments when Booty's standing, forcing sort of Utopian right in the middle, because then the Thunder Spells won't work. High recovery? Yeah, very nice. Go to ledge there. Oh, but Ray finds a neutral air. I don't believe there's any jump on the part of Booty. Oh, they do. Oh. They did get it. Oh, an unfortunate SD from Ray. What happened? Now, hold on. Cloud can very easily smother a little more than a little bit. Are you going to go off here for the cross slash? Oh, but the final hit of arc fire. And a couple spells keeps a booty at bay, landing into him time and time again. And the limit ran out just at the wrong time. And all the spells from Lucha are gone here. There's only Levin Sword left. How much can you space out against Levin, though? Throwing off back air after back air before finally calling out that jump. Every cloud there wants to back air in the corner. It's like, respect my space. Milkshake says, no. <laughs> just, just, oh, you're jumping with these back airs? That's what you're doing? Nah. No longer. Stop that. And a little bit of a pop off, keeping this game, in, keeping this set in control. Yeah, that's a moment there in singles, you would say, like, Booty was conditioning with the falling backers, but one rising back air might have done it. Yeah, sometimes just you just need interactions. to. Really, very, very, very true, and uh, excellent pointed out there, Jay. Like, sometimes you just need to throw out these timing mix ups, and double back air is equally as important, especially for a character with as good of airspeed as Cloud. Still. The team dynamic, I assume, is going to be the same. Uh, Cloud and Sora, Robin and Palutena. Let's get into game three. Potentially the last game of the doubles bracket here at the Xeno Arcadian, kicking right off. Heading back to PS2 here. Yeah. Oh, instant slide dash and the raw nares. Okay, Karksum is just like, okay, I'm just going to spend a whole, I'm just going to cash out a little bit in the opening round. <laughs> <laughs> The cards are really saying here, I'm the better mage. I have infinite resources. <laughs> Very true. Sora's magic recovers based on time, while uh, Robin needs a whole new book. Checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, great beer versus there from Milkshade, but still getting caught by that up smash. Up smash. Still pivoting back and forth, Milkshade, and just so much damage here, and has to worry about all of these uh, landing catches from uh, from Karksim. Though it seems like Ray is doing plenty of work on Booty there and able to close out the stock first. Looks Karksim not able to make it to their partner in time. Need an up air here on to Milkshake. But. There it is. Okay. I was waiting for like the missed punish. It didn't come. Good stuff on to Karksim. My goodness, the shield damage from the down smash of the 11 sword is insane. <laughs> Ooh, burning a little bit of your wind there. As Booty does able to make it, is able to make it back. Utopian Ray not able to find another edge guard. This Tomahawk up smash is really doing a lot for Booty. That up smash is uh, absurd, to say the least. A great timed, greatly timed air dodge from the part of Booty. The finishing touch coming out there, being stuffed out by Palu uh, in bull dash attack. Oh, I love that! I love that pivot on the part of Karksim, able to get uh, get Milkshake scared and support their teammate. Still. Oh, Booty down at the edge guard. That 11 neutral air, so strong. And the high recovery. Love that from uh, from Milkshake. Surviving even longer. Keeping this stock keeping this stock count four stocks to four, though. Booty still looking. It still feels like they're in danger just at any waking moment. That being said, Cartoon's doing a great job sort of staying alive here. It does yeah. have the stock real estate for Booty to take if need be. This is true. This is very, very true. As they are, like, it, it is the total stock count that matters, not so much, like, who has one, who has three. Just got to keep your real estate on point. A couple L Thunders is able to close out the stock from uh, from Karksim, though. A great catch there from Ray, but Booty's able to make it back still. Oh, and the huge trade, that high teleport uh, biting Ray in the butt. Just a couple forward smashes here. Not trying to get too risky with some of these stocks, uh, with some of these plays. And the down smash is big there. But it is, again, it's Booty is the one they need to focus on. The, um, Karksim is looking so healthy. And Red Team is not, especially with how much shield damage there is. But that is the stock gone from Booty. And that is the even stock count here in final game of this fir potential first set. Just kidding. It is right against the world. Karksim is doing a great job this game, sort of just like standing to the side when he needs to and then jumping in and being ready to help Booty anytime with those F-Smashes to get back up the damage. Wow, getting the hit by a couple reverse hit nares there. Trying to use the throw armor to get by, but Sora's multi-hits and keep him safe. Oh, but he's facing the wrong way. That's so unfortunate. These up airs are putting Ray in a really bad spot. Yeah, the juggle game from both of these characters is so dangerous to deal with. Ray choosing to not mash out, just take the down air and DI it correctly. 157, max rage. Oh, and the safety in turn, but missing the grab, and that's going to almost not do it. do it. Just barely closing out the stock with that dash attack. And blue team resets that bracket. So here we are in true finals. Yeah, finals part two. Ooh, tense game. I feel like if you're red team now, if you're uh, uh, Milk J and Ray, you really want to just ban PS2 at this point. Like those games, the wide stage length really gave an answer to a lot of the strength that we were seeing from Milk J in game two, where they were able to control a lot of space and follow up with big 11 aerials and big 11 smash attacks. It's like, well, what if we just have a longer stage so we don't have to interact with that? There's always room to dash away. There's always room to jump back. That's really tough. That's really tough to deal with. Yeah, and on the same note, the smaller the stage, the less stage for Cloud to be on. And if Cloud's off stage, that's a really bad spot. That's very true. That's very true. Just get get red team, uh, get blue team in this case. Oh, constantly off stage, constantly in a in a sense of disadvantage. Because Sora, as for all the strengths that he has, is always going to be a character that can slow down the tempo. But unless they're getting some of these crazy long combos, these task combos, doesn't often speed up the tempo. Okay. Starting game one here on Battlefield. I like it. It really helps just about everyone. I think this is one of Sora's best stages. This is Robin's best stage. Uh, it's not Palu's best stage, but it's a very good one. And it's an amazing stage for Cloud. Like, everyone's just going to have something to do here. 
It's just a matter of who gets to do those things. Oh, I love the arc fire of our milk chair using it as a mix-up to get back to stage. Back throw there, yeah, just trying to trying to establish a little bit of stage control, support their teammate a little bit. Blue team once again off to a very, very hot start. Yeah, passing back and forth as that upbeat isn't able to take the stock quite yet. Booty and Karksim, again, just supporting each other, trying to establish a means of offense, while Red Team is almost constantly in a bit of a disadvantage here. That upbeat still not doing it. Neither, No stock being taken until Booty was able to, uh, was dropping thanks to the edge guard from Ray. They were just running right back down the stage and dash attacking there to get payback immediately. That big fusion blade is no joke. Oh, down throw oh. there. And another back throw. It looks Milkshake able to separate the blue team and that lingering up smash, that lingering hit, as you were mentioning, Jay, just doing so much, setting up Booty into a juggle, which Ray completes a huge follow-up thanks to the plat ba those battlefield platforms. Yeah, Ray did a great job there just keeping Booty out. And again, as you said, that platform making it closer to the blast zone. Some big parries here. Gets a couple bronze nares, but nothing doing on the part of, of Milkshake quite yet, though. Able to survive on all fronts. The up smash, though. Wow. Okay. Between In the standoff between Booty and Ray, I'm surprised no one died. <laughs> Especially <laughs> on top platform like that. That is... That is a gone cloud. Wow, what a statement game from Red Team here. It's like, hey, if you don't have the space to kind of run away from us, the space to re uh, to recoup and and uh, rendezvous, then we're going to we're going to take you down. We're going to dismantle you bit by bit, and bit by bit they have in a four stocks to two situation and closing out the stock on Karkson just like that. Yeah, I think as we were saying last game, oh great explosive win there. Last game we were saying how. Uh, Carson was doing a great job surviving, and this game it was Milkshake. Milkshake was alive for so long. And just a grab that smash there to end it up. Big, big forward smash, closing out in a four stocks to zero fashion. Red team just regaining a sense of composure, and I feel like they have learned because just take a look at those bands. Town and City, nope. Pokemon Stadium, nope. Still have access to FD and Kalos, but, or Hollow Bastion, same blast zones as FD. Just as a matter of forcing blue team to adapt on stage and adapt in a comfort level as well. Hollow Bastion being Hollow the Bastion, pick. Here it is. Good stage alert. Love this stage. It's like everything good about Smashville, but a little less chaotic, a little more controlled. All right, so is this going to be a game two going into game three, or is this going to be the last game of our doubles bracket? Uh, very, very good question. Honestly, like it feels like no game that has been won has been like really closely won. It feels like it's either red team establishing early, establishing stock lead early and running with it, or blue team just finding ways to close out stocks in very, very cheeky manners. Like it's, it's been a really, really swingy set thus far, counting the winners' finals as well. The, like the grand finals, set one. I feel like last game, Ray was doing an amazing job edge guarding Booty, and we're seeing here already Ray's just going straight in at Booty, trying to keep Booty at the ledge. These jabs sending Cloud at a disgusting angle. Yeah, it's that's a it's a very um, who's the player a Chag level of uh, optimization where Palu jab isn't the fastest, but it lingers for a good long while, and it sends at a devastating angle here in the corner. It just adds to that ledge trapping. Meanwhile, Milkshake has found like so many grabs, and as soon as you're able to force Sora into jumping early to establish neutral, that's when his that's when the range of eleven neutral air can really come into play here. Yeah, Finally, Milk getting that eleven sword back. Milkshake's doing a really good job, sort of just forcing Carson to stay at the ledge and not be able to interact with Booty, and just like that, deleting that stock. Yeah, this is how it is supposed to look if you're red team. Meanwhile, blue team needing a big play sooner rather than later to come back here, and that could be it. The fourth smash closing it out. The meaty hit, uh, the meaty nature of Sora's hitbox is lasting for such a good long while, covering that neutral get up. Ooh, taking big damage there on the cross slash, but wasn't able to break a shield, nor was it able to uh, close out a stock. So here is Booty just, just barely managing to recover. There's no 11 sword on Milkshake right now. 
Oh, barely dodging that explosive flame. Wow. Yeah, they're being super cautious. Ray actually going in a, a little bit early there. Blue team trying to stay on their back foot, and they do so successfully, up smashing Ray out into oblivion. And the second stock of Milche might not be far behind. Such a huge turnaround here. Unless Booty, unless Red Team's able to close out on Booty stocks, it, it has been, they're going to be falling back into Blue Team's win condition, which is a offensive cloud and a defensive Sora kind of controlling that stock count. But Booty is able to draw, uh, they are able to make Booty's stock count drop, leaving this in just slightly in their lead, but cannot be understated how well Blue Team is playing right now. Oh, wow. Booty Shield getting incredibly low there. Just barely squeezing out of there with the Climb Hazard. Ooh, Elf, Elf Thunder into that neutral air, though. But a great tech from Booty keeps them alive. This pressure from Milkshake's Leaven Sword and Ray's use of the multi-hit hitboxes from Palo is just ridiculous. And another grab from Milkshake, who's able to cover so much space. Oh! Just didn't pull the trigger on that uh, on the 11 neutraler after seeing a uh, small thunder connect. That's so unfortunate. I like seeing Booty go for that play though. You need to make make some big plays, take some bigger risks, and the, the activity on that move. And if I'm Karkson, you have to delete Ray's last stock here. You can't let them. Okay, now we're down two stocks to three. That stock was never Karkson's. And now they have to just survive at 100%, slow down the game's pacing, no jump, but plenty of means to recover. And the aerial sweep is able to catch that floaty jump from Ray, keeping this game even and keeping this game well within reach for blue team, trying to bring it to a game three. Oh, and a Thor, I didn't even notice how Milky was charging that earlier. Wow, the platform play is so good from both of these teams, but the uh, that backer is going to allow uh, Karkson to survive. The finishing touch not landing either. It's getting closer and closer here, Jay. But blue team is kind of storming back here. Nair into fairs. It's not over until it's over. Definitely not. But this is a combined ledge trap here. Our, no, oh, oh, fire. Yeah, that was the last one. Super tight, but the explosive flame backup is there. Oh, an up smash there from Karkson to delete Milkshake's last stop. Can Ray bring it home? Now it's a 1v1. Sora with Max Rage, who does have some rage specific combos here. Can Karkson you get by? Karkson playing extremely safe here, not wanting to make any mistakes. Nair 1 2, looking for the up airs here, staying so long at that short hop range. Wow, no, oh. DI that correctly. He didn't! Oh, DI, yeah, no! DI correctly, and you're fine. DI poorly, the DI in, and Booty just. just just dropping his water all over him <laughs> like that. The tensity of that game falling victim to the water bottle. Let's get an instant replay on that. Oh my god, Karkson really, I want to say, is sort of the MVP here of doubles. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, he just, just look at where he went wrong. Just, oh, oh, the, the L. <laughs> just misspacing that slightly. Just misspacing that slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Spacing's important. Make sure you practice that in training room. Yeah, you just gotta go. <laughs> gotta hit the lab for that one. Sorry, boss. <laughs> but here we are in our last game of doubles. Oh, wait, that was so well played from uh, from Karkson. Just doing. Able to close out that huge up smash out of shield after thinking it would have been a, uh, a grab as well. Milkshake getting hit by that reversal and then able to go toe to toe with R Utopian Ray. Very, very nice stuff. Back on Battlefield, Conquest of Blaze playing in the background. The last game of doubles. Yeah. Win or lose, everyone's going to singles after this. Except not Ray. Ray's not going to singles. He's not allowed. <laughs> Nor Booty either. Oh, Booty's not either? Yeah. Oh. He plays top four at like Xeno 129. Huh. Beating Dill and John Numbers. Way to go, Booty. Yeah. So Booty's not allowed either. So it's just, uh, it's some, they're here for W's and they're playing pretty well overall, but Blue Team is able to establish early control here before that Levin was really able to make some, give some meaty damage. Can they get out of it? Oh, no, no parry. Them. Got to parry the last hit of Cross Slash, and got to be careful with your recovery. Soar forward tilt, hitting below ledge, mattering a 
big way right there. Oh my gosh, it's the arc fire and a run up down smash there from Milkshake catching booty. Uh, another down smash there, but this will just be a back throw from Ray. Wow, wait, that the L wind, the L thunder didn't last in the get up attack as well, stuffing right through that ledge trap. So unfortunate, but Milkshake's able to pick one up over on Karkson. What a great save there. Booty was about to be punished for that. Uh, Look at the juggles. Look at these juggles from Karkson. Just all of this up, all of these up airs. And the timing, all, oh man, they, they actually, Ray dropping a stock from that Elf Thunder. The timing just a little off for Red Team as they forfeit one of the, a, a big stock here in such a close game. And then a huge down smash. The Robin down smash does have a sort of area of effect around it with Love and Sword. Very true. Catching booty. I love that. I loved that du uh, double jump reverse uh, reverse up air. Such a huge hitbox. I am absolutely loving Car uh, watching Karkson's play here in doubles. It's, Sora's it's so incredible. Cool. <laughs> Sora Brigade eating. Where's Helper at? <laughs> Just nair one, up, nair one, two up airs. It's such a, such a clean bread and butter that you need to have, it, that having access to at all times can turn neutral game states into such supreme advantages, especially given the juggling prowess of both of the Square Enix char characters on screen now. Yeah, but that back air gonna, that, that might have been a little bit of suspect DI. I didn't think that was gonna kill. But that back air from Milkshake taking one of Karkson's stocks. Oh, but that's it. That's the final stock taken from Milkshake having to share with Ray as a three stocks to two count keeps this game not out of it, but certainly in a great position for Blue Team. What an amazing cross slash from Ledge there from, from Booty. Just forcing Ray into continue, forcing Ray to work for these every single stock that they've taken. Nothing's coming easy right now. We're sort of a high octane match here. And that momentum from game two, I mean, Jay, like, Momentum can matter so much in this game, but it is really playing dividends right now. Red team bleeding out, and the open wound is gaping right now. Red team on their final stock. Milchi against the world. Double back oh air. Oh, my goodness. And that's it. Unable to DI. It didn't look like they were able to DI correctly on the second back air. Trying to drift away from the follow-up. So our back air a little bit slow. But while Robin's airspeed is pre pretty good, not enough hurtbox shifting, I suppose. Just whatever the case, this back air lands. And the second one seals it. Yeah, and you see the DI arrow pointing slightly out yeah. there. Yeah, so Booty and Karkson are going to take doubles. And I do want to give a shout out here for Karkson's amazing support play. For sure. Yeah, Sora. Like, there are a lot of Soras today, but Karkson really standing out as that top teammate. Round of applause. As the the gameplay from Karkson and Booty, like again, you kind of have these two characters that can uh, that can function in similar roles, but uh, Karkson doing a great job of just like, really setting up a big offensive plays from Booty. Booty able to capitalize with some big cross slashes, playing, uh, doing just enough on recoveries to get by some of Ray's, Ray's ledge trapping and deep edge guards, and. Just a very, very good job from Blue Team supporting one another and always being willing to play like A and B back and forth. Communication is important and Blue Team really showed it off there. I think we're hitting about time of, I think Wave B is, has already probably started for singles. Yeah, and this I mean, Arcadian is stacked. Oh, yeah. It is an Arcadian, but it's it's still stacked. 122 people I saw last time just, I checked. Just tri-state things. Unranked New York uh, is still probably going to beat ranked Ohio. Sorry, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, calling out one state like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ohio continue, can, uh, can keep catching strays. But we will be throwing to a quick break as we set up for singles and as we set up for more and more Smash action here at the Xeno Arcadian. So stay tuned.